Welcome to the vlog. I'm currently dealing with a huge mess on my hands. I'll put in some footage of what my office looks like right now and there's just so much clutter. I need to sort through my makeup drawer. I need to put away, well, I need to wash and then put away all of my makeup brushes. I have a bunch of just random stuff in this kind of junk corner. It's a mess. I'm thinking that what I want to do is just put everything back. So I'll put, I'll just sort everything in here and put just about everything back into my makeup um, drawer, like my main makeup drawer, because there's just so much going on here and anything that's empty will go into the empties pile and go from there. So we'll be sorting. Oh my gosh. Look at these vintage cuties. This is brand new, so I'm just gonna put this back in my collection until I finish. Um, these two mascaras, the Bambi Eye Waterproof, not my favorite. I think I'm just moving away from waterproof mascara for the time being. And, oh wait, no, this is staying. And I have the Tarte Tartlet um, Tubing Mascara. This is flaky. I don't care what anyone says. This is flaky. So yeah, this is going back in the collection. Absolutely my favorite. So good. Like forever will repurchase. This is brand new, so I'm going to move this to my bathroom. I recently purchased this. This is the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. I am almost finished with the DHC. It's their oil cleanser, the Deep Cleanse. Um, I'm almost done with that. I do love it. I have decided to pause repurchasing that, and I wanted to try something new. So this is the Squalane Cleanser. It says it's a squalene based facial face cleanser and makeup remover we'll see we'll see um i'm sure that i'll finish this pretty quickly and come back with a review for you Ooh, this is something that i got brand new so i got this when i was in la this is the patrick ta major brow lamination gel and it's like clear formula like i'm so excited to try this so I'm just going to keep this in here. I actually keep pretty much all of my brow gels out here. And just to 
play around with them and see how I like them. I have my tools in this tiny little bag right here and good stuff. Let me put these in here. Here I have the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Zero. I think I'm going to give this away because since I have the Maybelline, since I have the Maybelline Line Express, I think I'll keep using this because I do love it. I do enjoy this and I think that one of my friends would love this so much. And I think that since it's like all shiny and new and expensive, I think that they'll love this and I'm glad to give it to them. Okay, so I'm putting this, these eyelashes back. I think this is really cute. I just don't think I'm going to be, like if I want lashes, I'll come back and grab them. Here are the, some of the things that I keep in here. So I have the May Love Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. Um, I'm pretty, this is pretty new to me so far. I am enjoying the experience of using it. I have the Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator. I have this little spray, um, just here to style my hair if I need it some last minute. Some mineral sunscreen from Hawaiian Tropic. I got it on clearance. We'll have to see. This is my travel Hawaiian Tropic weightless face sunscreen. This is the one that I use on the daily. This one's actually 50 SPF. It's almost done. It's getting down there. And besides that, I think, let's see. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep this blush palette out. I've been really enjoying using it. There's just a nice selection of blushes, nothing um, too out of the blue, and it just gives me a lot of options. So yes, I'm gonna go put these things away, and then we'll keep working. It's a different day. So much has happened. And by so much, I mean like some things have happened, some things have not happened, but I'm going to wash my makeup brushes. These are not all of them. I actually have, so I have these, and I also have these that need to be washed. I'm going to put these back over here because... Quite frankly, I know I'm not going to have the energy to wash all of those right now. And I honestly think I'm only going to get through these smaller eye makeup brushes. I sort them by size and wash them that way because it is easier for me to basically just do like assembly line type situation. I wait till the last minute. One of my worst qualities. I mean, technically it's not the last minute because I do have other clean makeup brushes, but I want these brushes. Yes, small eye brushes first. And let me show you some of the tools that I use to wash my makeup brushes. So my main tool, okay, let me get to the exciting one later. My main tool is this one. So I got this at Forever 21. I wanna say, it was a million years ago. It was a million years ago, but it's great. It has like these little grooved edges of all varieties. So you can swirl your brush over all of them. And the tiny parts over here, that one, that section is great for especially like these stiffer brushes. Ooh, okay. For these stiffer brushes to like really get in there. I have this. This is fantastic. And the other wash pad I have, this is actually a household item. I got this from Walmart on sale and it's basically all of the little nubs. The nubs are a little longer than these ones. Like, let me put them side by side. So this is like a dish scrubber thing, I think. You can scrub dishes with this, I think. But I use it whoop, to wash my makeup brushes and it's like a really nice large surface to do this on. 
very much enjoy that. And I use the Beauty Blender Solid Pro to wash my makeup brushes. I think this one's just the best one. I prefer the liquid for my makeup sponges. I find that that's more effective for the sponges themselves. So this is how much of the soap I have left. Not very much. I probably am due for some more. Oh my goodness, what is all this? <laughs> That's gross. I'm probably due for some more for a replenishment on this. I have not decided. I'm watching Real Housewives of Potomac right now in case you're wondering why I'm making all these facial expressions. I just got these little perfume bottles. These are travel packs or travel bottles that twist up and spritz. I'm so excited. So I ordered these off Amazon. I just did one so far to test it myself and I'll film myself doing it on a few more bottles. So this is what it looks like on the inside. You just push it down gently because I'm not trying to spray it and then twist look at how compact I have these little multi-use labels I have round ones and these little rectangular ones I already had these I use a lot of these for my single eyeshadows um, and what I have done is I'm going to put the little rectangular one on the bottle itself and I'll put one of these round ones on the bottom of the bottle so that way I know what I'm spraying. I'm so excited. So yeah, I'll just show you how I do it with each one. So I already did it on the Aqua Allegoria from Guerlain. This is the Natal de Sol. And I'll show you on the Mugler Angel Nova. This is the Eau de Toilette. And the Lancome Tresor and the Guerlain Samsara and Victoria's Secret Sex Little Things Vixen. I haven't been able to use this that often because it comes with a little atomizer, but that one is one of those like it's really pretty, but it's kind of difficult to use, so it's been hard for me to use this one. But this will be really easy to decant because it just twists off. And I'm so excited I'll finally be able to use it with these little situations. So I'll give you like my full review. Packing to travel basically and you'll hear more about this. And I'll make sure to link it down below. Okay, let's get into the decanting.
Yay! I was able to decant all five of those fragrances and make all of them work. So yeah, now I have five little travel sprays. It is a little excessive. I'm still excited because these are still way smaller than bringing even an ounce bottle. And these are fantastic. And I'm so glad that I happen to have these labels. Highly recommend labeling them so that way you know what you're spraying. So yeah, no, and this is even really useful for packaging that's difficult for you to use. Maybe decanting it is a better option for you. So yeah, I'm glad we had this little session. Ooh.